We're out here at the student farm today, and this summer we are growing seedless watermelons. It's actually our first year to do seedless watermelons. In the past two years, we've grown all seeded watermelons, and uh, we've had a lot of uh, public interest uh, for seedless. We get asked quite often, are you gonna grow seedless this year? This year? And we just haven't. Um, there's a few reasons why we haven't. Uh, seedless watermelons can be a little harder to grow than your, your, your traditional seeded melons. The variety we have this year is uh, Onza. It's a smaller personal sized melon, about three to five pounds, uh, matures in about 85 days. A few things to take note if you're gonna grow seedless watermelons. They can have inconsistent germination, a poor root system, and they don't produce viable pollen. To get the best germination, they need consistently high heat. If you can provide bottom heat and 85 to 90 degree temperature consistently, you should see a better, a better rate of germination. And for the root system, one of our uh, retired professors, the state vegetable extension specialist, Dr. Lynn Brandenberger, he came up with a way to help support the seedless watermelon roots. If you drop in a wheat seed into the cell with your, with your watermelon seed, the wheat seed will germinate and it'll wrap around and fill in your cell and it'll give support to your watermelon seedling. So when you take it to the field, it'll have a nice root ball instead of you know, spindly subpar roots. When you get them out to the field and they get to growing, another thing to note is they need a pollinator. Seedless watermelons do not produce viable pollen. So what we have done is grown a seeded larger melon, uh, Crimson Sweet, as our pollinator variety. When you do order seedless watermelons, most seed companies will send you a pollinator variety along with your seedless order. A lot of times that pollinator variety is not edible. It's basically there just to produce pollen. So out here at the farm, we would rather have everything edible. So we decided to grow two rows of seedless watermelons. And on the outside of those two rows are our, our seeded watermelons. So as they grow, the seeded, the seeded watermelons will grow into the seedless and able to pollinate our seedless. So if you're a home gardener, you can intersperse. You could do two or three plants of seedless, one plant of seeded, or just, just how we've done it. You grow it in close proximity to your seedless melons. So if you're trying to grow seedless watermelons at home, we hope these tips have helped and have a successful harvest. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.